Kyogre. You have to let me try. Hello, everyone. I am Third Mario Brother. Playing Pokemon Emerald in Pokemon Emerald. I think the universe would collapse. Route on the ground type Pokemon that once waged war against Kyogre and created continents in doing so. And this time around, we are going to be heading back to the Weather Institute because we want to learn whether it's going to be rainy this week because we really want to go on a picnic. And no, I'm doing a terrible job of covering it up. We are going to perhaps be searching out another legendary Pokemon this time around because anybody... I would hope so. It's in the title. The thing about Hoenn knows that its trio is not complete with only Raymond the Rayquaza and Gor Gordon the Groudon. So let's go <laughs> ahead and talk to this guy again. He takes Back all the seriousness out of them. Ah, reintroducing yourself. Awesome. Presently, heavy rainfall has been recorded over Route 129. So that means somewhere near Route 129. And then... It's raining? ...sweating nervously and hyperventilating once again, and he is unable to yeah. communicate. Man, you really gotta work on your people skills a little bit, buddy, because... It's like Jotaro versus the frickin... It's like, like Jotaro playing you. poker and Jojo... And we're just, just breathing no heavily for poker! ...effect on you, and I like how... Like, some of the glass of this building is, like, seeping through the bottom, so it looks like it's just, like, leaky or something. Man, Weather Institute, you got to apply for, for some grants or something like that, because those conditions are absolutely deplorable, man. And where's Route 129? It looks like it's down here. So, uh, I guess we'll be sailing from Moss. You could go to e from Evergrande. City. So let's go ahead and sail from I mean, you have to go down through Waterfall then again, so... Well, actually, I think you can go down the Waterfall fine. And since we're here I think it was until like Gen 5, it's like, oh no, you can't go down the waterfall without good without Steven waterfall. Why? So, Steven, are you home? Gravity I'm shouldn't have anyway. gravity. Oh my gosh. Gravity like, shouldn't oh, gravity. What was I saying? Should I, should I leave like a respectful young lad would? Should I maybe stare Take at the item. Face? Everyone does it. Rocks over here. Oh, should I read his diary? Or, ooh, this is an awfully pretty looking Pokeball over here. Ah, uh, just one peek. What's in it? Beldum. Beldum! Oh my gosh, a Beldum? Should we take the Pokeball? <laughs> the game is asking us whether we want to commit theft right now? Oh my gosh. Never this before. Decision on my life. On the one hand, this Beldum is probably really close to Steven, really close to his heart, and he would just be devastated if we took it away, especially because it's so rare. But and only knows takedown. Beldum's really shiny, so you know what? I've made up my mind. I, I doubt they gave you the shiny the version. Force. And this thing is an awesome Poke. Ooh, a nickname? Like I said, this thing is an awesome Pokemon, but I'll get that get to that in a minute. What do we want to name this thing? Brian. Uh, uh, First name I can think oh of that's our letter B. I got it, I got it. If anybody knows anything about Beldum, you will understand why I'm naming this guy this, or probably not, because it's kinda silly, but we are gonna name this Beldum Real Steel because he's just supposed to be so Oh god That so was a movie so awesome and out there. He's essentially he's Rocky with robots. Real Steel. He's gonna be real not useful this playthrough because I'm probably not gonna use it. Yellow's takedown, it's post game. Pick that up because this, this I believe is the only place you can get a Beldum in this game. And mm. it's a super good Pokemon. It evolves into Metagross later on, a lot later on, albeit, but it's a steel psychic type. So right off the bat, awesome typing, especially in this generation. And it has just got incredible stats. It tears things up. That thing is a powerhouse beyond belief. Well, so I'm pretty sure you spelled real, so now, we're going real to steel rug. I'm pretty sure even in the movie they used A, but then again, if they want everything to work together, probably not. I don't remember. I, remember. I haven't seen that covered in a long time right because I own the movie. See the transition together in which the uh, world begins weird. to rain. And as you saw before, Groudon's drought was making route, uh, what was it? 16 all dry and stuff in the last episode. I don't really remember. It's been a while since I It was a one. terrible disaster to, to that Kyogre. one That's random you know place. Really close to Kyogre, and he is going to be found in a mm. spot such as this one. So let's go ahead and dive underwater. It's this sort of like when Godzilla down. decided yeah. to attack the Sahara Desert. It's like, like okay, okay. Because I know you like destroying shit, but move. why? <laughs> but I needed a diver, and I wanted all the power I could pack onto my team because Kyogre is going to be a bit of a nuisance, honestly. Why'd you lose, then? Because here in the marine cave... Lies Probably take down. Larry onion, beast, onion? But yeah, I wanted to pack all the power possible, so um, I didn't want to get rid of dishwater or another Pokemon for an HM slave. So, here we go. This is it. Kyogre. You don't like me saying it that way. Well, in the Gen 3 song of the all of, listing all the Pokemon, they even pronounce it Kyogre. 
Here I think the they also pronounce it ground on. Legendary Kyogre, the Pokemon that created the Raymond seas, the oceans of the world. And you know what? I decided, since this one's going to be a bit of a doozy for the rest of our team to handle, to bring in the powerful Raymond. Well, we are like 30 levels Raymond under level is for a little bit upset. He just got fired them. from his office job last week. Plus, he hasn't. I thought my airlock would have stopped this. Days, dude, he is going through caffeine withdrawals like you would not <laughs> believe right now. So. Raymond is on our team. Swellowship is getting the shaft for the episode, <coughs> but I have a strategy. Well, I don't think it would be very useful considering Kyogre can know Ice Beam. Was, um, then was Groudon because we don't have and Ashley, to wall but it can know Hydro Pump. Plus, uh, plus uh, well, you guys will Thank goodness anyway, there's no Origin Policy because that wasn't invented uh, to uh, Oras. I, I meant to have Shock out from, but apparently that's not the way things are going. So, Whoops. Switch out to Heretic, just use him as fodder. And apparently Kyogre already wants to go back to bed, man. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, I it's like those people who wake up Snorlax and then immediately use hypnosis. What was the point of waking it up? On, you At least until uh, let's go when you that. couldn't really do that as easily. Just throw a Pokeball. Jeez. Heretic was a death mon. Now, my strategy here. Because that Why did she use Ashley as death mon? It's not gonna help. My team can take a hydro. Smoke screens. With Groudon was even though it had um. Uh, drought and the sun was always out. It didn't it's really fire ground. Groudon didn't have any fire moves to work with. It really, it's just oh regular ground. God, it's Jeez. Story level is over it. Not Fudge. Why does that kind of throws a little monkey wrench in the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was a ton of recall damage. Story well, level is over it. A ton of revives as well. So I'm gonna send out the Baconator and use a revive on Shock because we need to get a thunder. <coughs> Absolutely. But, uh, First thing is how fast this thing is going. Hydro pump and hydro pump boosted by the rain will no, not ultra balls yet. Our entire team, except maybe Raymond. But at the same time, um, I want to say thirty-one later, revives. Like said, he's going to be part of a little bit of a strategy that I have going on here. So let's revive Shock and hopefully we can get a paralysis up on this thing as soon as possible. That's so, right. Double edge as many times as you want until you're in the red health. That because that a pig as he might be. There's nothing worse than trying to catch a Pokemon and no. they. Apparently I you know, to kill themselves like take down something like that. Pulling out all the stops, he is going hard, and hopefully, please miss. Yes. Yeah, miss sheer cold. Okay. That's Finally. The other thing we have to worry about here, even though we're packing the power with Raymond right now, he's still as a one-hit KO. Everyone else doesn't matter what level or what Pokemon. Then again, Sturdy in this gen works differently, so you probably live it. So, uh, for the moment, I guess we'll go for a Psychic. Not that you have any Pokemon, but Sturdy. Itself, and we get a little bit extra damage. Oh! Nope, it hits us with the sheer cold. Oh, for 6 no, HP. That's gonna do nothing for us. It's too cold out right now. A little bit of overkill since it was a one-hit KO and we have, like, six, uh... Why would you do that? Because I can. Six HP left. But you know what? Kyogre does it big, and I can respect that. Now, in terms of design, I really don't know whether I like Groudon or Kyogre more. The kid in me wants to... Oh, please, please, please hurt yourself. No! <laughs> hit with the Hydro Pump, too. Oh, my God. I wanted to get Paralysis off on this thing so, so bad. But apparently, we're just going to have to move to the next round of the plan without doing that. Because that is just not going through right now. As with the last legendary Pokemon, I'm going to try to set up some smoke screens on this thing. But, um, what did I want to say? Oh, yeah, in terms of design, the little kid in me wants to... Oh, please don't. Please don't. Oh, my it hits with the Hydro Pump. What is going on right now? How did that move had bad accuracy? As I revive my At least mediocre. It's get really tedious really, really quick. In fact... Just send out Raymond. Out water real quick. We're going to revive our team, and we're going to start from square one. How's that sound? All right, that was perfect. For some reason, Kyogre was just really tired today, so we went to sleep when he was just below half health. And right as he woke up, he tried to use rest again, so we got off the free Whew. paralysis on our good buddy Kyogre. But like I was saying, the design of Kyogre, the kid in me wants to say that I really like Groudon more because I always played Ruby version as a kid rather than uh, Sapphire or Emerald. But right now, I kind of want to say that I prefer Kyogre. Kyogre's just so cool. The beast of the sea mm. that created the oceans. I like Groudon, and I want to say I like him more because he's like a Godzilla sort of thing, uh, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I just think Kyogre looks really, really cool and really, really strong. And I really They're both cool. like him slash her slash it slash whatever gender designation. It, it doesn't is. have one. <laughs> but, um, uh, man. I identify as, as a god. god. have to... We're gonna have to sit here and hope for some para hacks or something because originally Raymond. I was planning on going out there with Shock. 
because in my practice run of this, Shock was faster than Kyogre, but apparently this time around, not the case. I was planning on hitting, um... Maybe it was a speed tie and Kyogre keeps winning. ...with confusion with the Baconator, and then setting up some smoke screens with Ashley, because even if it weren't... Ooh, you just see that sheer call and your heart's like, missed, and your heart skips a beat. ...break through the paralysis and the confusion, it would probably use Double Edge or something like that, because the computer's just kind of dumb, you know? And uh, we wouldn't have too, too much to worry about. But apparently that's not the case this time around. This Kyogre is giving me so much trouble, man. Oh my god, this is like the a watered-down version of my plan or something. I don't even know what's oh, going on. Oh, but I can't fall asleep even though it's paralyzed. Ultra ball yet. And we're like 15 turns into the battle or something. This is ridiculous. So <laughs> some double teams? Okay, well. So uh, it looks like we're going to have to change into the big. Well, yeah, Dishwar was at half health. He must have been. He must have gone down too, and you sent out Raymond to take a hit or two. This time for real, because the Baconator is going to be faster than Kyogre is. So we're going to be able to hit this thing with a Confuse Ray. It'll have like a 25% chance of attacking. We'll hit it with a Smoke Screen. Which means you'll probably hit. Going down. Knowing my luck. Is the plan at least. Now, what I would like to happen here is this Confuse Ray hits right. It has a. What, what's the chance of Confuse Ray hitting? I think it's 100%. But either way, this Confuse Ray, eh. I would like for Kyogre actually to break Good. through the Confusion and the Paralysis this turn and take Baconator out so that we get a free switch into Ashley. Is it going to happen? Kyogre, come on. Come on, man. I just gave you a compliment on how beautiful you are. No, you hurt yourself in your Confusion. Just you don't hit it have back. To do it that way, Kyogre. Masochism is. Figures, the one time we wanted to kill our Pokemon. a bad thing, but you know what? Whatever, I'm gonna go ahead and use Psychic. May as well get the extra damage off, right? Mm. Nothing wrong with that. It's not down so already! Double edge us, which will take us out, which is not what I wanted because he just broke completely out of confusion. He snapped out of it, man. This is just not going my way. Send out oh Jock. God. <sighs> Come on out, Ashley. Why Let's Ashley? Go. Let's hit him up with the smoke it. screen. I believe in you. You're oh boy, are we gonna be faster than this Kyogre? No! <laughs> Well, it's a fire turtle and yeah, yeah 25 that. levels Shot under uh, wait oh what God, we, are. we hit it with the smoke screen okay this thing doesn't have a too too high chance jesus of what like... is kyogre's okay, speed zero oh, negative five oh kyogre you might have just doomed yourself my friend because your accuracy is down sheer cold ain't gonna be any time soon so we're free to set up the smoke screens and from there on out we can continue on with our ah lives. crap there goes the paralysis that just gives me more turns to set up more smoke screens so Perfect! Finally! Oh my god! I never usually it's stuck around with smoke screens, but it's really showing its use in this in these battles. For the longest time, but it's finally turning around. We are finally in the driver's seat. We can get up our smoke screens, and we can catch this thing with no problems. It looks like it has weird like ribbons <coughs> flying out of the back of its butt. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! What was that? Four smoke screens? I, I think know, that was the third, keep, uh, fourth. We'll keep going time. until you can't yeah. go no more. Start using body slams if I eventually have to. Maybe get another paralysis off. That and fire very, it. Very, very nice, certainly. And then we can come in here with Raymond. You might have noticed Raymond's moveset when I accidentally showed it off a little bit ago. Let's hit this guy with a smoke screen. I believe that's six, but I'll try it. It did have fly. Sure. But uh, you might have noticed Raymond's moveset. And yes, that's exactly what I'm planning to do, random viewer who saw, who saw the diabolical evil will the evil intentions inside of that moveset anyway regardless of whether that was i only saw a couple of the moves six, i think that's low enough for me to go into raymond and start tearing things up you guys already know what's going to go down you already know oh my god look at the power right now rayquaza versus kyogre i can't handle street speed and outrage jeez <laughs> this is just too much but yes i gave raymond oh jeez louise the ever so annoying double team because that is the way that I'm going to be handling this Kyogre. I Kyogre can't. Kyogre can't has the aim of a store trooper, and Ray, meanwhile, Raymond's just got the so speed of can rest all at once. the Flash. Or Dispel. This thing has like a 1% or 2% chance of hitting with Sheer Cold, I believe. I believe it's about 2% or something like that. I'm not entirely sure on the um, accuracy of Sheer Cold. It's like 15 or 20 or something like that. But this thing is not going to get one off on me. So I'm going to set up six double teams, and I'm going to play this the newbie way. <laughs> Honestly, that's what we got to do. Screw up. If Screw up confirmed. A powerful Pokemon such as Kyogre. So uh, after setting up all these double teams, we can go straight into fighting, or not fighting, but trying to capture this thing. Annoying. Oh, 
This is throwing it back, man. I remember having Rayquaza on my team the second I caught it in Pokemon Ruby when I was little because that thing was just <laughs> Ruby. apotheosis of strength in those games. <sighs> Do you guys remember catching your first legendary Pokemon? Pokemon? Yeah. Oh, you hit with a double. That shit goes right? on the team immediately. Right now. But you it is a rule! Legendary Pokemon in whatever game it might have been. I don't care if it's Hoenn, I don't care if it's Kanto, Johto, Sinnoh, whatever. I don't remember if it was Zapdos or Kyogre. I just know it was one of those two. such an amazing feeling. Heck yeah, it still kind of gives you shivers. Or whatever, but after catching Rayquaza, I was like, it's over. All of the... Roll credits. All of the strength in every Pokemon ever is now mine. I own this. I have no way that I could ever be defeated ever again. And now... We are flea, uh, f flea to fry up high, <laughs> And let's see how much damage this does to this thing. Now, Raymond is the same level as this. We actually have a level 70 legendary Rayquaza at our disposal. Not bad. It's not gonna do too, too he could go into Outrage and do more damage, but he, has, he can't do a move, so he could kill it. Especially since Hyper he's really, Potion. Really low on health. In fact, I'm gonna throw a full restore at Raymond. Or a full restore, rather, yeah. And then we can finally start chucking Ultra Balls at this thing. I would prefer to have like a Thunder. I hear the Siren still like plays. That. It's a little bit too late for that. Since Shock is not Raymond, and Raymond already has all of these evasiveness boosts up. So, we're gonna just start chucking Ultra Balls at this thing. And it's probably gonna take me about 45 minutes to catch it. But you know what? I don't even care. I'm That's why the jump cut was invented. This, we have the entire trio at our disposal. Let's do mm. it. With the first Ultra Ball of the game, can we catch a sleeping Kyogre? Let's do it. Come on. No. Oh. He's really not having it. Wouldn't be four minutes left that you could. For some reason. Raymond, come on. Sleeping with the eyes closed wouldn't be invented until Gen 5. Last week I'm not even kidding. To stop his, uh, pestering well, maybe in like other games, so like, like maybe like Colosseum or Sam or something like that, but in the real games, no. Oh my god. Oh my no! Three shakes, how tempting of you, Kyogre. Oh my god, I, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Come on, Raymond, if we pool our efforts, I'm sure we'll be able to catch this thing. Oh god, we're making puns again. Nope. All right, Kyogre, you know, if you don't enter this Ultra Ball, you're going to miss out on so much. You will be swimming in a sea of regret now. Well, I regret not saying well, that Kyogre, Pokeball. I know I disturbed you, but really, I don't want to make waves. So just get in the ball and we'll be done with it, okay? Sound good? Nah. Dude, if you don't hurry up and get in this ball, I've got places to go. There are bigger fish to fry. Oh, but God. Literally, but, Struggle! You know, and you know, I'm starting to think you have something against me, because it's a little bit fishy that you're not getting in my ball. Come on, Kyogre, get in the ball, Kyogre. <laughs> that was another one of my um corruptions of the legendary Pokemon's names when I was a kid. I still want to say Rayquaza instead of Rayquaza, because that always just made more sense. I, I really don't care either way. Like that, but the anime said Rayquaza, so may as well follow that authoritative bit. But I can totally see how this is Kyogre and not Kyogre. That's a little bit more um understandable either way. Don't make me call Aquaman, Kyogre. <laughs> what are you even? Are you like a fish or a whale or a dolphin? I don't know. Either way, sonar it's or annoying. Whale, you're going to have to get in this ball. If you don't let me catch you, I'm going to be super blue. Oh my god, Doesn't want to be Kyogre. blue. Yes, I just had to threaten him by saying that he was going to hurt my feelings. You're going to oh, make us depressed. With Raymond out front, we captured the sea base in Pokemon Kyogre, who somehow has a footprint, even though it's like... A it's a tail stronger. print. Swims in the sea and floats when it's above land. But either way, Kyogre has appeared in mythology as the creator of the sea. After long years of feuding with Groudon, it took to sleep at the bottom of the sea. Oh, I see. And yes, we have caught the amazing Kyogre. I love this Pokemon so much. And with that, we have completed the legendary... Well, it's not really the legendary trio of Hoenn, but you know what? It's the game mascot for Sapphire. We have the game mascot for Ruby in Groudon and for Emerald in Rayquaza. And what are we going to name this thing? Well, Carl. Uh, I don't know. We've got... Raymond the Rayquaza, we've got Gordon the Ground. Oh, how could I forget your name, Kyogre? Kyle. Of me. You're Kyle, man. The laid back, really chill Kyle, who probably should get a job or something and move out of his parents' basement, considering he's thousands of years old <laughs> and he should have done it uh, millennia ago. But you know what? Kyle the Kyogre is a good person down at heart, and he is such an amazing friend to Gordon and Raymond. And all together, they just make the. Did you find your job? I tend to. Yeah, I tend to some applications. Fighting, okay. Literally all the time. Anyway, 
in this episode of Pokemon Emerald, we completed the Trinity. We captured Rayquaza, Groudon, and now Kyogre. So we have all the three main legendaries from Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. And with that, we're going to end this episode of Pokemon Emerald off. So thank you all very, very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. And yes, there is indeed a next time. There's still quite a bit to do here in Pokemon yep. Emerald. Yep, more legendaries. We've got a little legendary Pokemon. We've got Pokemon contest. It is not over yet, folks. And so not by a I long will shot. see you guys next time after the massive stop appears to have stopped. In Pokemon well, Emerald. continuing. Um, I guess it's not as massive things. anymore. I guess we'll see when we get there. Either way, thanks once again for watching, and I will see you guys there. Oh, it does stop. Okay, good.